Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. So in this video, we're going to convert this 2011 Riri Avante um, into a brushless system. And then obviously with used to run her and see how she performs. So super excited about that. We're running the cheap brushless system and I always forget what this motor is. It's a 4370 kV motor, um, 60 amp, 60 amp speed off, both waterproof. Use them in the top force many times, they run great. Um, so the view to this is get this system in and get the advantage running on 2S, um, which should be super cool. So first job is, because this is a brand new built Avante, is to get the wheels wheels off, spoiler off, under tray off, and then let's get the old receiver speedo and out, and then we'll have a look at the motor, because I'm not too sure what kind of job it is to get this installed. Um, I know it's a really tight fit, so I'll have to see if we can get this one out and then this one in. Or... Anyway, let's get cracking. So I just wanted to make sure the um, front and back gearboxes had enough grease in them. Um, it's a little bit light, so I'm just going to add some of my own grease and then I'll stick my covers back on. So next job is when I've been spinning the wheels, I, it just feels to me, and I could be wrong, that the centre diff is not tight enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to undo a few bolts so I can get this, um, let me just zoom out. I'm going to undo um, some of the bolts so I can get the top deck loose. So I can slide the motor out and then can slide the centre diff out and I just want to make sure it's tight enough um, while the motor's still in. So I'm glad I checked that centre diff because it, it, it wasn't tight enough. Um, it, it allowed me to nip it up quite a bit. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But um, now it's much better. It's not tight, it's just it was too slack so when it was driving or when you were just turning the rear wheels um, it was the centre diff that was really taking it all up so I think the front drive might have suffered so anyway I've not nipped it up fully but um, we'll put it back in and go from there so that was a bit of a mission I had to, as I said, slacken all the top deck off so I could drop the motor, lift the um, top deck up slightly and drop the, the old motor out from below and put the new one in now um, the rotor shaft size is different so in the manual the pinion goes on it in reverse uh, as standard but this wasn't long enough to do that so i've had to fit the pinion the conventional way but it fits fine it's not a problem um i was hoping i could get the mesh lined up with a diff cover off but i can't because everything moves without the cover let's see if i can zoom in and show you that so you can just about see the pinion um the right way around and it's it's lined up perfectly um so next step now is to um, fit the cover back on um, and then we'll we'll have to mesh the motor up by feel um, so let's get cracking with that right just spent about an hour I did it all off camera because I'll bore you enough trying to get all the gear in um, there's no room in this thing at all ended up having to take the fan off the speedo which I've done before and I'm only running it on 2S um, I had to keep moving stuff around but I've pretty much got it there that's got the battery in that's got 2S in now um, but I've had to bring the battery cables out this end, which is fine when they're connected. This this tucks down under the body. But um, yeah, a bit of a mission to get it all in. But anyway, it's in, and I'll just switch it on, show you it's working. <clears throat> so steering's nice and sharp. If I can get this in right angle, nice and quick. Um, and then. Um, and I've made sure the body fits, um, which obviously that's what took all the time. So, next stage is to get the road tyres ready for it. So let's do that next. This is the tyres we're going for, and, and the, it's the Tamiya, obviously, Riri wheels. Um, you can see the difference, they are slightly wider, and they're the same diameter with the spikes, so obviously it allows me not to wear that down the spikes, and these have got um, some quite hard, well medium forms in as well, so that'll improve the handling. So um, let's get the car built up and see what it looks like. Right, finally she's done and ready to test. 
So we'll just go outside and we'll just have a very quick blast because it's damp conditions. I just want to hear the, the motor really and the meshing. It feels great by hand, but you know, you just never know. The wheels look pretty cool, not nearly as good as the originals, um, but it, it kind of beefs it up a little bit. Um, suspension, I think so okay. Got no spaces on the front, I've got just smalls on the back, but seems okay. Seems to dampen quite nicely. So, um, as I say, let's just have a very quick blast, fingers crossed. Well, it's a good job I had a little run before we do a proper blast because I went out with these wheels and they're going to need gluing, uh, they were coming off but not only that, man, it seemed very unstable with these on, probably down to the glue um, but it surprised me so I came back in and put these old original 88 wheels on and it handled much better um, daft as it sounds so I'm going to have to glue those. Um, it, it's pretty well, it's a bit of an handful I must admit, you know if you when I had the same setup straight into the top force, that just went where you went, it just sort of went where you want you pointed it to go. This thing's a bit squiggly, so I think it needs setting up properly. Um, because as I say I didn't build this, so I probably need to do the camber and towing and tow out and all that good stuff. Um, but it looks it looks awesome going. Um, I have just stripped the um, servo saver, um, and that's why I came in. Um, again, I didn't fit it. I think the guy who built it has, has used the wrong servo horn, but not to worry. We've got loads of those. Um, but that was awesome. So we'll get these little glitches sorted out, um, and then we'll get it out for um, a proper bash, and we'll do some speed measurements and see what it does. Um, but yeah, very chuffed with that. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. It's much appreciated. And if you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us, that'd be awesome. And as always, guys, happy RCing.